Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another G-Shock video. Today we are looking at the latest release of a new colorway for the GA900 series analog watch. Here is the packaging that you'll get. It arrives in a smaller version of the G-Shock tin can. At the back, as usual, you can see the model code GA900SKE-8ADR. Let's open it up. Okay, take it out. Here we have the warranty information card along with a small piece of cardboard. By the way, if you didn't know, this works as a watch stand together with your tin can. Great for display purposes. Let's open the tin can. First, we have, so I've already removed the tags over here. So these are the tags that comes together as part of this watch. And we have the manual for the module 5, 6, seven and the watch is inside of this white cloth here so let's go ahead and get it out here it is my very first impression of the watch the gray transparent color does look really good here you have the double hole straps and on the top surface of the straps we have textured pattern and feels very grippy in contrast, on the other side of the straps, it is a soft, glossy finish which gives it a really good feel on your wrist. Similar elements can be seen for the, uh, the top part of the straps over here and we even get a transparent design keeper as part of this watch. We have a plastic buckle and on the inside of this buckle it says Thailand. The straps are attached to the watch via an adapter which has quick release mechanism as you can see over here. We can swap out other types of straps quite easily onto this watch. We have a standard case back for this model with the shock resist logo at the center. Model code again GA900 SKE with module 5637 and the watch is made in Thailand. The bezel on this watch in this colorway is amazing. It has glossy finish along with silver bezel screws. All the wordings on this bezel are very stealthy, makes it look nice, but it will be difficult to read the labels. Perhaps there is an opportunity for us to mod these labels by painting them white. I think it will look great. The hour and the minute markers have white stripes against a dark watch face so that makes it really easy to read the time. As we have already seen on other colorways of this GA900, the negative display on this watch is not that great. The index markers are in black color as well. The light button on the front of the watch has similar textured pattern, just like the straps. This can be said for the uh, other four buttons that are part of this watch. The watch has a single LED light which only lights up the analog hands and you can activate that by pressing the button at the front. This is how it looks like. I hope in the future iterations of similar analog digital models, G-Shock would include backlight for the digital displays as well. It's just unreadable in low light conditions. Let's quickly go through the modes on this watch. We are at home time right now. As I press this button over here, it goes to timer. Next, we have world time, alarm. And here we have alarm two, three, four, snooze and signal. Next, we have stopwatch and back to home time. One of my favorite features on this watch is the quick access to the stopwatch function. You don't have to cycle through the modes. Instead, just press the lower right hand side button over here and it immediately kicks into the stopwatch mode. This is really useful in many scenarios. Here is a quick wrist shot of this watch. The GA900 SKE is a February 2021 release. 
it goes for 17,600 Japanese yen and in other regions for 130 US dollars. It is already available in most of the regions today. The watch has CR2016 battery and that lasts up to 7 years. You don't have to worry about changing the batteries anytime soon. Overall, a very nice colorway, very stealthy. In fact, I feel the straps on the SKE model much softer than the GA900 series watches that launched earlier. I have a feeling that this colorway will be quite popular among many. Do let me know in the comments on your thoughts about this colorway. Alright guys, that is it for today. If you like the contents that I'm putting out, do hit the like button for me. It really helps. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe and I'll see ya.